Welcome to your Moon and Gemini Oracle card reading. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about why I haven't done this. I'm just going to show you the cards. So the card that we actually have for this Moon and Gemini is Put Others First. Bottom of the deck was Rise and Shine. You know, Sun is in Libra. So this is naturally a time where we are, in many ways, putting other people before ourselves. This moon in Gemini, though, is going to be bringing up a couple of different questions. I'm wearing my dragon shirt. So we have, of course, the dragon head over in Gemini. We have the dragon tail over in Sagittarius. I'm talking about the north and south node, respectively. This moon in Gemini transit is going to activate this axis to where now we are really going to be have to asking ourselves, are we being beholden to any type of beliefs that we have that may be self-limiting? Or are we really going to actually listen and think with our own mind or our own thoughts and realize that we are capable of so much more? <laughs> I was trying to see because I had the message of this video before making it. Okay? Because I felt like it was very applicable to me. Right? Here's the thing though, guys. There is somebody out there that needs you. There is someone out there that will be motivated by you and inspired by you. And if you just sit around and don't do anything and you don't actually rise and shine and wake up and rise to the occasion, then that person is never going to be inspired or motivated by you. And that person may be the person that really goes on to change the world. Or you never know, maybe they just go on to change somebody close to them, maybe in their family or their friend circle, and that person may go on to change the world. We really do not know how powerful our impact is. I myself, I've been pretty selfish lately. I've been pretty selfish lately. I've been using this hiatus and this time of absence and this silence as a guise for needing to find myself spiritually more, whatever like that. And honestly, I have not fucking done the work. I haven't really done the work. So I'm a little disappointed in myself. But, you know what? This isn't about me. This is about, this is about you and it's about everyone else, right? I've been so caught up and trapped in my own ego, thinking that I needed to not really talk or say my piece or whatever, make these videos, whatever. It doesn't freaking matter. The fact of the matter is that I have not been putting other people first. It's okay to, of course, set boundaries. It's okay to take times of absence and take time to recuperate our energies. But I had this self-limiting belief. I'm using myself as an example. I had this self-limiting belief that if I was not in my greatest power or my greatest energy or greatest flow, then I wouldn't be of service to other people. And that's actually a self-limiting belief. It really is. The reason why is because if I wait until I'm my, at my best to help people, I will never really know what I'm capable of when times of crisis come or when times of hardship come. I'll never know what I'm truly capable of if I only wait until I'm in my best, in my best energy or my best state to really give to people, to give back, to make these videos, to help motivate and inspire people or to be motivated and inspired myself. I've had such a, I've been going at it in such a backwards way. Sometimes that happens. So for this moon and Gemini transit, like I said, it's going to be activating this nodal axis. We all have some type of self-limiting belief that we are actually going to have the opportunity to heal during this time via the sextile of the sun to the uh, Sagittarius energy in the north, in the south node. We're going to have an opportunity to heal this aspect, but then of course the trine to the moon in Gemini is actually going to allow this sort of miracle or harmonious energy to kind of flow right into, and it's going to give us a great opportunity to not only heal the self-limiting belief, to actually, but to actually make it work in our favor, to transmute it, because Sagittarius is about transmutation as well. A lot of people like to think that it's. Scorpio, which is transformation, but Sagittarius is about transmutation. This is definitely a time where we don't want to rest on our laurels. Because 
while you may not necessarily be feeling the most confident right now, the most energized right now, the most balanced right now, maybe your chakras are a little out of whack and stuff, maybe you won't necessarily give your best right now. But just because you're not giving your best doesn't mean that you shouldn't even attempt in the first place. I love you guys. Y'all take care.